good afternoon. Excel user series 4.0 video number 13. This is our second video in Club 365. I am trying to use the latest version with the old school formulas and functionalities. Again, this is again today I saw this uh, from one of my uh, mentor, uh, Tom. Uh, he is an MVP from Microsoft and he showed this in his LinkedIn page where he showed me how to work with counting a formula i have just improvised it a little bit with my previous excel file that i've done where i counted or extracted only the email address belong to a particular domain so this time around what i'm trying to do right now is i want to find out how many people or how many feedbacks that i got or i've only issued two times the google sheet to collect my uh, feedbacks for my training and what is the new training counts that comes into play so i want to know that for the first time uh, after a break i'm using the sum product function here and we are going to use the function which is many people think it has become absolute or absolute right now because we no longer use this formula in a data time functionality called year under service we break them into a multiple column so if you want to do a sum if function or something like that where we will recreate this uh, data set again and this idea is given by mr tom and uh, thank you mr tom i i really follow all your data and i'm trying to create few other videos out of it there are a few things which i couldn't able to create as a video because the user will feel it is too hectic for us uh, uh, as you give me a easiest uh, component to work around i'm using that only alone to create a video so our agenda of this data set is i'm going to extract the data first of all so now i'm going to use two of the functionality which is called text split and i'm going to use unique then finally i'm going to use a sum product function with the year to come into play so this is the logic the last logic is what i got from mr tom thank you mr tom and this is something which I'm going to break it into multiple points because when I extract the data set from a Google sheet, it gives me the data set in a CSV file and it gives you exactly every aspect of the data or when the particular uh, individual recorded their feedbacks to me. So respond time and dates and everything is given to me. I'm interested only in the date functionality first. So I'm extracting the dates first. So to do this, I'm going to select the data like we do in the old school methodology where i want to populate all the data in one shot because text split will not populate the data using a spill effect in office 365 so i'm going to just equals text split and then i'm going to just select the text that i want to extract then i'm going to give a comma i want this to break into multiple columns here so i'm going to give a column delimiter there is a space in between the data set here so i'm going to use the space as my column delimiter to extract my data set here I just gave a control enter to populate all the data set here. I didn't give an enter. When I give an enter, it will only going to give you the answer for the first list. Now I got the list. That's that makes my life a little more easier. And now I would like to get, use the sum product function effectively. So for that, I'm going to create the logics called unique here. Again, I'm using the old school formula first to extract all the years first. And then I'm going to make the years list into unique one. So I'm going to just say equals year and choose all the dates in this list and then uh, control backspace and close the bracket and give an enter that's going to populate all my years but I want the unique field here so I'm going to just pick up the unique formula inside the list here so that shows how many years I'm playing the data with now I would like to create the breakup again so this time around I'm going to use the last and the final formula before I add a formula let me just show the formula how this is going to come as an output here because I'm using it in a very uh, different way altogether. So there will be a lot of questions that will be erased. If you have any queries here, you can post them in the comments. So I'm going to just say equals formula text and then I'm going to select the first cell alone. Now I want to populate this formula in a cell which allows us to learn more about it in a detailed manner. First, I'm going to start with a sum. I want to find out what is the total number of line items that I got from 2022 and how many line items I have received from 2023. 
to understand it to make it better i even serial numbered it in the list so by the end of 15 you will see the 2022 ends here from the first record and then i i got the data in a sorted manner so i know the numbers by default right now but the sum product i want to go by the year here so i'm going to just say equals year and then i'm going to choose the entire data set here that's that way it's going to give you all the years for me in this list and then once i get the years alone in this list and i'm going to say if that year is equal to the one on the left then that makes my life a little more <coughs> perfect here so now i'm trying to calculate the years based on this list so again if i wanted to do that so the logic that i've done right now to calculate the year first i extracted the year then i'm finding out whether the year is equal to this if that is the case then i'm going to just say plus zero it's going to give me the sum product answers to me when i close the bracket and give an enter it's going to populate my answer i think that i gave a formula a little oddly so i think that yes i have to give another bracket here sorry i didn't give another bracket here because it's not taking the right data sets here now it's going to give you the answer so now we got the 15 year when i populate this below it's going to give you the next valuation my total number of people who have done this data set for me is 36 totally and 15 of them or 21 common that i got in 2023 probably last month when i created a <coughs> a training to a particular company they gave me this data set completely for me so i got 21 comments on that and then i got 15 comments from the previous year this, this is how i can extract data set i could have done this on the same field here itself but i extracted it so that i can showcase the data separately because sometimes when i go for the year functionality using this data set it's going to shout at me saying that because i have a time date and time is also mentioned in here and plus the zone time that is recorded here gmt 530 is given here so because of that my year function might not work that's the only reason why i split the data into two uh, or multiple columns and then i took the year date field alone to extract the year then i use the sum product functionality to count the number of instant that came in the list of people here this is how we can count the number of uh, data set this might be useful even for you if you are using in a normal list so you can use some product function this is the old school functionality i try to break the data by using a text split first and then i created a unique list then i use the year and some product to get the desired results for me this is vinod signing off for my Silver academy youtube channel and excel snippet youtube channel your excel series user number 4.2 video number two and this is club 365 video number two again after this i'll be adding all the data set to the club 365 but maybe the old user forms or all old 365 formulas that i've done in my playlist will be added thank you so much happy weekend and happy updated